And that's when it was just ugly. You know what I'm saying? I seen the whole Atlanta change. Like right after me, she got shot in the ass at the club. It was a wrap. It was one of them viral clips we said, man, we all hit the same hoes. That's not me. He hit my yeah, hole. I can hit yeah, his hole. Yeah, that, that's real. Yeah, that's, how yeah, going nah, here, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, cool. he, he was a real nigga. He just had too much money. That's where too, too real, being too real, fuck you up. Because right. I feel like if he didn't put all them niggas on, he still, he would have, he the case wouldn't have went that way. For sure. It was at a point where it was out of control. Everybody in Atlanta was from BMF. And then, like, it'd be a little weird nigga go kill a nigga, talk about he was from BMF, and be dumb enough to tell the police he was from BMF, too. You know what I'm saying? And that shit would have his little shit hot, too. Now they is following him at the club. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no, is it really a rap label? Like, come on, who sell the record? You know what I'm saying? They start, the murders is what brought the police into. I think that what was that Shirley Frank? What was the what was the mayor name at the time? Franklin, mm -hmm. Shirley Franklin. I think her son, her her daughter's son, her daughter boyfriend ended up getting killed by one of them niggas, or he was one of them. They or did, and that's when it was just ugly. You know what I'm saying? I seen the whole Atlanta change like right after me. She got shot in the ass at the club. It was a wrap. Man, you know I remember watching one of the documentaries, and one of the one of the agents said, "I flew into Atlanta, and I." And I seen the fucking billboard at the airport and said, BMF is the world. Uh, they had, <laughs> he they said, had to take he it down. <laughs> but you know what's crazy? Jermaine Dupri had, had that motherfucking billboard for the longest and Meech had took that motherfucker. It was like a big statement. Cause look, oh, wow. it's coming into the A that the billboard was right there on 75, 85 North. Like as soon as you coming from the, from the airport, as soon as you whip around by the Turner Field right there, right. you coming right there off the, uh, when the when 85 turn, you just see it. And then you see the Atlanta background. <laughs> that <laughs> shit was like a real statement. Man, tell us about the strip club culture in Atlanta. Cause you know, coming from uh, on the other side of the world, you come to Atlanta and now you see it like- Ooh, coming from bring, bring your own bottle to that shit. <laughs> Man, uh, 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 uh. I swear to God, nigga, nigga, them motherfuckers, so many niggas got killed at the strip club in LA. Them motherfuckers got their liquor license banned. They couldn't do, but that shit used to be ratchet back in like the early 2000s. We didn't even have, like, now we got crazy girls that they be trying to like crazy girls and cheetahs. Uh, well, shout out cheetahs, fuck crazy girls. No, I don't know. It, it, it depends on how I'm feeling. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? Coming from that shit to, these bitches hanging on the shit. Now, mind you, they don't got money like that in LA. And if they do, we do got money like that in LA. But a nigga know, you better not throw no motherfucking dub in the club. Your ass get walked down, <laughs> nigga. Hey, <laughs> hey, Damn. you fucking fool. You better not go balling like that in LA. It's too many hungry niggas. Street stars, nigga. Moolah. Hey.